We're going to do a video about our monthly Hi. monthly uh, living expenses here in the Philippines. We have some questions from uh, subscribers out there about you know what how they, much it, yeah, yeah. how much it costs to live here. So we're going to go over our monthly expenses. Yeah. Can I give you an idea? Yeah. So we're going to start uh, with the electricity. Usually we paid about a hundred dollars. Well, sometimes almost a hundred dollars, and sometimes a little over a hundred dollars but our minimum is about five thousand pesos which is one hundred dollars and our water is five dollars or 241 like that sometimes it's 250 and our internet is 2100 which is 42 dollars our tv that's because we have the, the two tvs yeah you know in a and we have a upgraded package, so we get more channels. Yeah, I didn't tell them yet uh, the TV, you TV, know. But okay. so the TV is two thousand pesos because we have two TVs, one in the bedroom and one in the living room. And then you know the minimum is one hundred uh, uh, one hundred pesos per. Uh, you know, if you get just a a few channels, but if you wanna get more, and we got the one thousand which is the highest but we don't have a contract so that's why we just put every month uh 100 1000 peso load on each tv so that's why we paid uh 2000 pesos every month and our cell phones cost about 500 pesos a month for both of us because we use like we always register our phone to unlimited and sometimes we don't have a load and you know so it's only ten dollars a month basically for both of us and our groceries the groceries are the most expensive one because my husband you know he don't usually eat food from the market you know all his food came from the mall and they're very expensive yeah i, I have to buy you know make some american dishes sometimes so i have to get you know food from the market grocery i mean from the mall grocery store instead of uh, buying in the market but i get a lot of vegetables and stuff from the market i just yeah like you know, potatoes yeah. and you know tomatoes he eats that but you know all the butter the peanut butter and everything else that's from the mall and they're not cheap the peanut butter is like five dollars average you know yeah or so almost can, six dollars so make pancakes and stuff yeah right? yeah you, know. you make pancakes but i mean if i go to the market you know, it will cost me less than ten dollars. But if we go to the mall to buy his food, that's a minimum of probably eighty to or one hundred dollars to get all the stuff he needed at the mall. Mm -hmm. And uh, so anyway, our groceries a month, that's our uh, average is uh, twenty thousand a month, which is four hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. And so we have a multi cab. You know, so if you don't have a like a uh, transportation you ride a tricycle you probably pay about 20 dollars or 1000 pesos if you only live in a for a month uh, yeah, yeah if you live in a small town like where we are like you know so, so we buy gas yeah we buy gas which is that's about 50 dollars a month yeah. 2500 pesos mm -hmm. and uh his medicine mm -hmm. cost about four thousand pesos uh, which is eighty dollars because every month we have to get his medicine yeah, i take five kinds of medicines and then uh mm -hmm. you know aspirin and then i you know buy vitamins and stuff once in a while too yeah so, so anyway if this is just a basic yeah, expenses and luckily <clears throat> or uh fortunately we don't have to pay a rent or mortgage here so um that's a big uh, advantage or that's a you know big deal for us. So you, our, can, you can rent here for. Yeah, there's a you know house for rent for like uh, from one hundred dollars a decent house or apartment for one one hundred dollars or two hundred if you wanna get a nice one then two hundred dollars that's a nice house or yeah. apartment. So anyway, our total of our the total of our expenses a month is thirty six thousand three hundred forty one which is $727. So if you are a foreigner that uh, is planning to move to the Philippines and have a pension of like less than $1,000 a month, you, you can survive here. Yeah. 
You know, you could yeah. you could uh, cut some money off of these by yeah. not getting the premium package on the TV, TV or we, the internet or the internet. We got the upgraded package on the internet, so we get more. Yeah, and more. the electricity. If you don't use it as much as yeah. we we do, then you probably cut it back yeah. to fifty dollars instead of one hundred dollars. Then maybe you can you, you know can probably save knock one hundred and fifty dollars off of this. If yeah. you're, you know, a little yeah. more conservative than we are. Yeah. But, you know, that would make it, you know, uh, 600, 550 or $600 a month for expenses mm -hmm. instead of 727 that we pay. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we're buying gas too. And then I wanted to explain the medicine for anybody that's retired. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I paid 100 and I had $135 a month deducted out of my Social Security for in the U.S., for medicine, Need to and, load your and plus I had to pay, you know, five dollars for each prescription, so that that was about 165, 170 dollars a month it cost me for medicine. I came here, I canceled my the medicine part of my uh, uh, Medicare, and so now I just uh, so that I, you know I just pay eighty dollars. So actually, it's cheaper here mm -hmm. uh, than it was in the U.S. for my medicine. Uh, that's how I. I got around it, so um, yeah. So if you're if you're getting a, a, a pension of you know eight or nine hundred dollars a month, you could you could make it here. Yeah, yeah. very easy. Yeah. You know, as long as you you know live a simple uh, life, like you know, if you eat out all the time, then that's gonna cost you more money, of right. course. And uh, so these are our expenses a month and uh, if we want to go out somewhere or like because usually every month we do something like maybe in the house or maybe we need this or we need that like every month we need something so we're just trying to show you for a minimum budget what yeah. you could get by on and obviously if you've got you know a, b a bigger budget then you get to you know you yeah do travel do eat things. out yeah. and do a lot of but yeah, things. eight or nine hundred dollars a month you could you could make it here for that much yeah we just want to share with you our uh, expenses here so that you have an idea of uh, when you you know moved here and you know or if you're uh, if you're planning to move to the yeah, Philippines right. then you'll have idea of how much yeah. uh, it cost to or live you, here or if you have specific questions you know uh, let us know and we'll try to answer those and uh, see what we can come up with to help you out a couple other things you know there, there's you got to consider like for instance if you have laundry you know either you hire somebody to do it or if you have going to do it yourself you know or have somebody to do it for you you know you can they, they just here they, they just wash the laundry by hand in a tub we mm -hmm. don't have a washing machine or anything mm -hmm. so instead of listening to the noise of the washer you listen to the them complain, complain about doing the laundry, but it's one or the other. Yeah, he's insinuating because I always wash his clothes. He always tell me to bring it to the laundry mat, and I go, it costs like about five to six dollars, and I go, I, I don't, we don't need to uh, necessarily spend that if you know I'm here to wash the clothes, and because if I we buy the washing machine and the dryer or like that, then it's gonna add more uh, electricity bill. And yeah. if you wanna buy a good washing machine, then it's gonna cost more money. And we're 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 on a budget because we're doing something else too. Like in the house, it's not finished yet. So so that's why I wash his clothes. And every time I wash his clothes, I always yeah. complain. Not well, maybe not complain, but I always let no, him. It's, I always no, complain. I know. I always let him know that you know here my hands are sore or my back hurts or you know my hands getting raw from what <laughs> so and it's wear and tear on me too you know by her complaining and you know so you might be better off what would you rather machine. buy a washing machine yeah. and, and save buy a washing machine and or and then spend a lot of money and then uh we, you have a bigger electricity or you know you have to let me wash it and just kind of listen to my, you know, complain a little bit, and then, you know, you, we save money. Let me think. Definitely buy a washing machine. That's what I prefer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you know, I, I prefer to, you know, wash uh, my clo uh, our clothes by, you know, myself. We, we, well, we can hire a, 
somebody to wash it like it's like 300 pesos for one big bucket yeah yeah 300 pesos but instead of paying it to somebody else then I, i'll just have to wash it you know myself we were able to start a garden here yeah and too. plus when you have a garden it will help a lot too just like today you know we didn't even have to go to the market because we harvested a few okras we have some moringa and some other vegetables even though our garden is not that big but we it helps able, a little bit yeah it helps a little bit and plus my parents always mm. bring us food vegetables fruits mm. and chickens and, and there's so, always neighbors walking up and down the street selling food yeah you know? and it's so, very cheap yeah your expenses depends on also yeah. your lifestyle and you know your situation also i guess you know yeah so but it's uh but you know it's pretty stress-free life yeah you know just uh it's very relaxing you relax too much but you get bored sometimes yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so definitely. yeah, we're trying to make ourselves busy also, you know, maybe going for a walk or driving to the downtown or doing something because if we stay at home, we get bored, even though there's TV and internet, we still, yeah. you know, feel bored sometimes. Yeah. So, anyway, we just, we just want to share. Hope that uh, answered some questions for you. And if you, like I said, if you have any other specific questions, let us know. Yeah. We'll try to answer them. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.